Hey, what's up, guys? This is Pastor Dane Johansson from Agros Reform Baptist Church. Going to be taking you through Athanase chapter 4, pros t krini alpha. So that's the next chapter. So to the the fount, um, <clears throat> to the well, and they go to fill their buckets. That's what that means. Now what's interesting here that you'll see is the IOTA subscript, because it's in the all caps, is um, placed next to it. So it looks like it would be pros te krinii, but it's actually not because the IOTA subscript is supposed to go under here on both of them. But because it's in um, capital letters, they just moved it over one, so don't let that uh, mess you up. Anyway, here's the picture. You got some young ladies filling up uh, these water jars, and here's what it is: E core plirusi tas idrias pros tikrini. Um, so the girls, e core from kori. That's where we still you still see that in modern Greek kori. Uh, kori mu, my daughter. Uh, they, what are they doing? They, here's the usi ending again, uh, third person, plural, present active indicative of plirao, to fill. The girls fill tas idrias, the water jugs, at the uh, well, at the, the fount, pros ti krini. So let's go through the vocabulary. Here's the verbs, akuo, I listen to, I hear. That's uh, like acoustics, that's where we get that English word. Akuo is extremely common in the New Testament as well. Uh, Ethelo, I want, I wish, I am willing, I will. Um, this is one of those ones that in an attic, they put the epsilon there. But in uh, Kini, Greek, so New Testament Greek, you're just going to see thelo. You won't see the ethelo. Um, but kind of interesting that they dropped that because in... Even in modern Greek, you say thaithala for I want, so the epsilon elongates to an eta, and now we don't have that, so ethelo, anyway, that's where that, you're going to find little weird different spelling things, but again, as, as hopefully you've seen, Attic Greek is very, very similar to uh, Kini Greek. Uh, next, echo, I have, I hold, theoreo, I watch, I see, I behold, pieo, I do, I make, hero, I rejoice. Hiere <clears throat> or hierete is greeting still. Still they use hierete in modern Greek. It's like in a more um, polite, proper way of saying hello instead of just ya, yasas. Uh, they say hierete. Like if you've done Pimsleur, they teach you how to greet people. Hierete, uh, kiria, hello sir. But this is the second person plural form they actually use. Uh, ete is the second person plural like if you're greeting someone, Hiera is more common. Like when the soldiers hail Jesus, they say Hiera o Vasilevs. Um, they, they greet him that way. So if you wanted to say hello to somebody in, in ancient Greek or in Kini Greek, you'd say Hiera o Philemu. Hello, my friend. Some nouns, o Agelos or o Angelos, either one. You can do the double gamma, the double G there as Agelos or Angelos, the gamma nasal as they teach so the n sound before angelos um, either way it means messenger or angel in the new testament oanir uh, is husband or man this word still used in is the main word used in modern greek though it takes on uh, the <coughs> accusative or genitive form uh, andros or andros the genitive but oanir is still the main word for man or husband igini uh, still also the main word for woman, wife in modern Greek, woman, wife. E erti, festival, you can see that in the New Testament a lot. E thigater, daughter, you can see that a lot in the New Testament. Okeros, time, the right time, you can see that in the New Testament a lot. E krini, a spring, uh, where you go to fill up, is, I, I was translating up there as, as well, a place where you go to fill up, but spring is what they want you to do here. So not spring as in like summer or spring, like the season, but spring as in uh, a little trickle of water, a little river, a place where you can fill up your idria. Imiter, uh, mother, idria, water jar, ojoros, dance or chorus, uh, argos, uh, lazy, idle, should already know that, philos, fili, philon, uh, my dear friend, ifili comes from friend or love. 
uh, prepositions that we're going to learn apo with the genitive from. So apo aftu or from him. And then if it's with a uh, another verb, away from. Aperjome, I go away from. I come away from. Uh, pros plus the dative at nearby. So with the accusative, it's to toward. So near or by the pros tikrini, by the spring. <clears throat> Adverbs, edu, we've already seen that. Look, ke, even also to, before they just had it, that's and. Mala, very, we should know that one as well. Molis, with difficulty. Proton, first. Uh, Tajeos, quickly, swiftly. Ara, introduces a question. So you could say, Ara estin ton artonsu, is that your bread? Instead of just estin, estin ton artonsu, that is your bread. Ara estin ton artonsu, is that your bread? En noejo, I intend, it's a uh, plus the infinitive, I intend. Uh, en noejo vadizin, I intend to go. Um, so I have in mind, I intend, that's an idiom. That's helpful, here's proper names. Uh, or I need to go through those, we'll see them in here. <laughs> Same thing, let's read it, translate it. Tide isterea epi proton anateli oilios. Iginiton andra calike eperese afton o aner. Fisin, ogar ilios anateli. Ode dulos idiagi tus vus proston agron. Egode ke isigater en noechomen vadizin prostin crinin. Eperese afton, kerosgar esti vadizin proston agron. Ode dikeopolis malakamni, ke uk etheli eperin eafton. Legiun, michala piisti odogine. Malagar kamno, ke ethello kathevdin. Ide gini, al udinaton estin fisin. Eti kathevdin. Kerosgar esti iponin. Eperese afton o arge. So the next day, <coughs> ti de uh, isterea, if you don't know that, it's right down here. Ti isterea <coughs> is the next day, excuse me. So ti de uh, isterea epiproton anateli o ilios would be and the next day, the, and the next day, when, epi, when, proton first uh, o ilios, the sun had risen. So at first... The next day, at first when the sun had risen, uh, this is what happens next. Igini ton andra kalike. So the woman or the wife, the husband, she calls. So she calls, the woman calls her husband. The reason we know that kali, uh, second person, or third person, uh, singular, present active indicative of kaleo, I call, goes with igini. The reason we know it goes with igini is because igini is in the nominative uh, case. So it's the subject, igini is the one kali. Because ton andra, the other um, noun here, is in the accusative, so uh, it's the object. Ke fisin, so igini both calls, and then she also fisin, she says, and she says. So igini kali ke fisin, epere se afton, o aner. Uh, raise yourself up, get up. Uh, they have it right here, epere se afton, lift yourself up, get up. Uh, lift yourself up, get up. O oh, husband, O oh, man. Uh, she's going to continue on. Ogar Ilios Anateli. For uh, O and Ilios go together. For the sun is risen. It rises. Anateli. And she's going to continue on. O the dulos idi agitus vus proston agron. And uh, the slave already, now or already, idi agi is leading. Tus vus, the oxen, pros ton agron, to the field. <clears throat> ego the, and I, and I, again, this is going to be an emphatic I, ego is not necessary because she has, uh, she has, the verbs are right here, so they're contained in it, but she's emphasizing, and I, ego the, ke, and also, so, uh, I, and also, uh, Ithigatir, the daughter, and noechomen, we intend to go, remember, it's supposed to be the infinitive, vadizin, prostin krinin, to the spring. So, uh, lift yourself up, O oh man, for the sun is rising, and 
the slave already leads the oxen into the field or to the field, and I and your and your daughter or yours implied, and I and the daughter intend and noechomen to go to the spring. Epere seafton, lift yourself up. Kedos gar esti vadizin proston agron. For time, for it is time, SD, keros SD, it is time, vadizin, to go, the infinitive, vadizo, I go, the vadizin is the infinitive, to go, proston agron, to the field. So that's what his wife, Igini Aftu, says. Now, here's what's going to happen. Ode dike opolis malakamni ke uk etheli eperin eafton. But Dikaiopolis, Mala, very comni. He is tired. He's very tired. Dikaiopolis is very tired. Ke uk, here's the negative particle, uk, ke uk etheli eperin eafton. So, eperi uh, in the, in the um, imperative, the command, epere, lift yourself up, lift up, seafton yourself. Uh, Eperin, to lift up. So he uk etheli, he doesn't wish, he does not wish to lift himself. He doesn't wish to get up. He's very, but, but Tikopolis is very tired and doesn't wish to get up. Legi un, therefore, he says, he says, therefore, mi halapi is the o yine. So here's the vocative form of yini, is yine, uh, o yine. So there's the vocative, he's talking to her. Mi halapi isti. So instead of mi halapos, when it was used to towards despoto, uh, despaton, uh, the master, we've seen that mi halapos, but since it's being towards a feminine object, yine, it's mi halapi isti. So to be, or the, the, the imperative be not hard. Be not hard. Do not be hard, O oh, um, oh wife, O oh woman. Malagar kamno ke ethello kathevdin. Uh, for gar very tired. I am tired. I am very tired, and I want to sleep. Kathevdin. Kathevdo is I sleep. Kathevdin is to sleep. So, don't be, uh, don't be hard, O oh wife. For I am very tired, and I want, I wish, I desire to sleep. And that's the end of his quotation. And then it's going to continue on. Ide gini al udinaton estin fisin etika thevdin. So, ide gini fisin. So, there's the, what she does. But the woman says fisin, ide gini fisin. Here's what she says. Al udinaton estin etika thevdin. So, again, when you kind of remove move the, the verb here up where it should go or can go, it kind of helps you make sense of the sentence a little more when there's weird syntax like this. Or it's not necessarily weird, it's just weird and when you're learning a foreign language to deal with the new syntax. Idigini fisin, but the woman says, Al udina tonestin eti kathevdin. But, u, not, uh, it is possible, vina tonestin, for it is not, but it is not possible, eti still to sleep. It's not possible to sleep still. Keros gar esti, for it is time to work. Uh, ponin. Epere seafton o arge. Lift yourself up. Get up, O oh lazy one. Probably able to finish this, okay? Omen un dikeopolis molis eperi eafton ke vadizi proston agron. Idi mirini ke imelita prostin krinin vadizusin imelita thigaterestin kori malakali. Ite u miter ke ithigater vradeos vadizusin, idrias gar ferusin, megale deisin e idria, oste udinatonestin spevdin. Here's a men and a the clause right here, men the. O men un dikeopolis, uh, on the one hand, therefore, dikeopolis, dikeopolis on the one hand, therefore, uh, with difficulty lifts himself up, gets up. He gets up with difficulty, and then what does he do? Ke vadizi proston agron. And uh, he goes, vadizi, vadizi, there's the ending, uh, 
third person singular present active indicative of Adizo. And he goes proston agron to towards the field. Uh, on the one uh, Dicopolis, therefore, on the one hand, with difficulty raises himself up and goes to the field. Idi mirini kei melita prostin krinin. Uh, and on the other hand, uh, uh, Marina and Meli Melissa, that would be the, the, the double tav there, turns into S's in modern Greek, uh, uh, and that's where we get the name Melissa. Uh, so uh, Marini and Melissa, on the other hand, uh, to or toward the spring they go. Vadizusin, they go. They are going, the usin ending there, they are going toward the spring. So on the one hand, uh, Dicopolis, therefore, with difficulty, lifts himself up and goes towards the field. Uh, and Marini and Melita, they go towards the spring. And that's going to clarify here in parentheses who these people are. I Melita thigatir estin kori malakali. So what's happening there is there's a, this explains who Melita is, and then this explains more about Melita. So um, the Melita, again, Greek uses definite article, the word the, much different than we do. E Melita. Melita is a daughter. She is a daughter. E estin thigatir. Uh, it's indefinite because it doesn't have a definite article, so it's a daughter. Uh, Melita is a daughter. And then it describes who she is. Kori Mala Kali. A very beautiful girl. Kali. Beautiful. Ite un miter ke ithigatir vradeos vadizusin. So both and uh, te ke ke te, the conjunction. Uh, Ite un miter ke ithigatir vradeos vadizusin. Um, both. Therefore, both the mother and the daughter slowly, vradeos, they go, they go slowly. Therefore, both the mother and the daughter go slowly. And it's going to continue on telling us why. You see this little, it's like a semicolon. Idrias got a ferusin. Why do they go slowly? Idrias got a ferusin. For they are carrying, are carrying Idrias. Um, they're carrying water jugs. Me Megale the isin e idria, oste udinaton estin spevnin. This is this this just delta on its own is from uh, the. So where's a the? There's the, which means but or and. Um, but because the next letter uh, is a vowel, it drops and just takes the smooth breathing mark. So instead of having the. Uh, it's uh, instead of Magala the Isin, it's just Magala the Isin. Magala the Isin. E Idria Isin again is from Ina to be. So it's the third person plural present active indicative of Ina to be. Uh, and or but the E uh, Idria, the water jugs are, they are large. Therefore, Osta, or so that. Osta, so that, therefore, it's the same as an ina, uh, or in Greek, if you've taken New Testament Greek, the hina clause. Uh, it's the same as the uh, hina clause in that, the ina. It's so that, in order that. So that, u, the natonestin, it is possible not, so that it is not possible to hurry, spevdin. So let's try looking at that whole thing. Therefore, both... Mother and the daughter, slow, they go slowly. Go slowly. Uh, for they are carrying water jugs. Uh, the water jugs are... But the water jugs are large, so that it is not possible to speed, to hurry. Epide ti krini, epide ti krini, pros horusin edu, ala gineces idi parisi, ketas idrias plirusi. I un mirinitas yenekas kalike hirete o file fisin are idi plirute tas idrias? Edelegusin, hire ke si, ne, idi plirumen tas idrias. Progar paresmen. Al elthe devro tacheos ke acue, agelos gar iki apotu asteos. Legi de oti i athenei ta 
Dionysia piusin, imis un ennoecomen vadisin pros to asti, tus gar horus ethelomen theaurin ketus agonas keta dramata. Ara ethelis ke si tin eur tin theaurin? There's a lot there, uh, a lot of good stuff. In the second edition, there's a few words there that I've uh, not used to. I recognize them, but I'm not used to, so I have to use the notes at the bottom. Epideti krini pros horusin. But when they had approached, or they were approaching, who's they? Melita ke uh, uh, medini. Um, but when they were approaching uh, the spring, tikrini, idu, behold, ala yinekas idi parisi. Uh, other women, ala yinekas, already were present. They're already there, parisin. So there's the para and then isin, so para ine, parisin, they were already present. Ketas idrias plirusin. Uh, and they filled pli. Uh, Usin there, plirusin, they filled uh, tas idrias, the water jugs. Iun mirini tas yenekas kali ke hierete o file fisin, ara idi plirute tas idrias. Therefore, mirini, the mother, uh, the women calls, calls the women, calls out to the women. Therefore, mirini calls out to the women and ke fisin and says, hierete o file. Are idi plirute tas idrias? Hello, greetings, friends, in the feminine, because they're females. Ophile. Are idi plirute tas idrias? See, you have a dead giveaway that there, oops, you have a dead giveaway there that it's a question because of the question mark um, is right there, that semicolon in Greek is a question mark. But another cool thing about Attic that's kind of lost in, in Kini Greek is the ara before. Uh, you'll see it as ar, uh, just alpha, ro, but you won't see as much as ara, and, and even then it doesn't uh, appear that much. Sometimes in Paul's epistles when he's making like a, a point that, that expects a negative answer. But um, here in, in, in Attic Greek we'll see it come before, and now you already know it's going to be a question, so you get ready for a question. Ara idi periruta tas ideas? Is it so? The water jugs, now already, ye, or you plural, fill? You are filling, is it true that you're already filling the uh, water jugs? Ed the legusin, and they said, uh, and is the, they say, or they are speaking, eh, who's, who's eh? Well, that, that's a definite article, uh, feminine nominative plural, eh. Um, they reply, they say, Hera ke si, ne, idi plirumen tas idrias. Hera ke si, hello yourself. Uh, even, even hello to yourself, even greetings to yourself. Hera ke si, and they're just speaking just to Medina because she's the one that was speaking. Um, ne, if you've taken any modern Greek uh, or studied conversational kini or ancient Greek, ne is how you say yes, ne. Yes. Uh, hello to yourself. Yes, in answer to ara idi plirute tas idrias. You're already filling your water jugs. Yes, ne. Idi plirumen tas idrias. We are already filling our water jugs. Uh, umen, uh, first person plural, present active indicative of pliro. Uh, I fill, and this is we are filling, we fill. We are already filling our water jugs. Ne. Idi plirumen tas idrias. So you can even just do if you're doing like, pretend you're doing conversational. Hierete o file, ara idi plirute tas idrias? Hierete si, ne, idi plirumen tas idrias, would be the response. Pro gar pares men. So pro, they have the defining for you um, early in the day, so morning. Pro, um, for we are present in the morning. So we've been here since morning. Uh, in modern Greek, for the word for breakfast, pro y no, so there's pro, pro y in the New Testament is morning, pro y, pro y no, pro, that's a pretty easy one, for we have been here since the morning, basically, is what they're saying. We've been present since the morning. Al elthe, they continue, al elthe devro tacheos ke acue, but come hither, we've seen this one a bunch, elthe devro tacheos, 
so this is how they're supposed to come. This is an adjective. Come quickly and hear. Akue. From akuo, I hear. So come quickly and, and listen. They have something to say. What is it that they have to say? Agelos gar iki. Apotu asteos. For an angel has come. They have this down here. Has come. Iki. Yeah, you'll actually see this word in John 3. Uh, Agelos gar iki. Has come. An angel. A messenger. More, more accurately, a messenger in this context. For a messenger has come apo to asteos from the city. So apo um, with the genitive there from the city. Asteos. Um, is that how they wanted you to To asteos, the city. For an angel has come from the city. So they want the. Alelthe devro tacheos kaakua. Hurry, come here and hur hurry, come here and listen. Uh, and a, and a messenger came from the city, has come from the city. Legi the oti, and the legi he says or he says oti he says this because that he says that. So oti you'll learn is like because that since, but in the New Testament and in ancient Greek, oftentimes oti comes right before a quotation from somebody else. Oti, legi the oti, i athenei ta Dionysia piusin. <coughs> Uh, so, Ta Dionysia, uh, what is the name of that? That's a place, uh, a celebration of Dionysus. So it's a festival of Dionysus. Uh, this is what they say. Uh, the Athenians uh, are making, they're they're doing a festival f to Dion to Dionysus. So this is the first thing that Agalo says. The Agalo Legi he says, uh, the Athenians are making or putting on a um, festival to Dionysus. Imis un en noechum en vadizim prosto asti. Um, and then there, the women are commenting, we, imis, un, therefore, en noechum, and we intend to go prosto asti, to the city. We intend to go to the city. Tus gar horus ethelomen theorin que tus agonas que ta dramata. Um, uh, chorus, a chorus, uh, what else do they have? A chorus or a dance, I think is what they put. Choros, a dance or a chorus. <clears throat> so, for the dances, uh, and the agonas, the contest they have right here, agonas, and the plays, a drama, ta dramata. For the choruses, the contests, and the plays, we wish Ethelomen to see. We wish to see the plays and the dances and the contests. Ara Ethelis que si teen ever teen theorin? So again, we have there's the question mark right there, the semicolon right there. But we already know it's going to be a question because of Ara. Is it so? Is it so that thou dost wish, thou dost desire, that you wish? So second person, singular, present active indicative of Othello. I wish, I will, I want, I desire is Othelis. So the is ending there is when you're talking to someone else. So thou, the thou that you're talking to. Um, is it true that you wish, is it even also true that you wish Kesi? Uh, so ara Kesi Othelis? Uh, is it so that even you wish uh Theorin to see. There's the uh, infinitive theoreo. I, I view. I behold. I see uh, the festival. Te erotin. Is it true that you wish to see the festival? So this is what the women Eginekes say to Melita ke Mirini, uh, primarily Mirini, because she's the one that greeted them. And they said, "Here, there's an, uh, an Agelos came, uh, has come. Agelos Gariki, and he said." Stuff to us. He told us that the Athenians are putting on a festival, a Dionysia Piusin for Dionysus, and uh, that they were intending to go to the city, and that they wanted to see the the dances ta, tus chorus and the contest tus agonas ke uh, ta dramata the plays, and then they say to Meli uh, Mirini. Uh, is it so that even you wish to see the festival? So anyway, guys, that was a little bit longer. Sorry about that. 
Um, hopefully, again, this was helpful. God bless you.